Chris Pilon caused the fumble. Royal West recovered. Frogs from the Longhorn 20 go first and 10 with a 7 to nothing lead. And they get Oglesby outside and at the 8-yard line, another first and goal. First out of bounds by Sean Malone. 12 it's yards for the fullback. The well, down. one team came out ready, and one team has yet to wake up. Well, Pat the Sullivan game. told us that yesterday. He said, I'll tell you this, we may not win. I think we've got a good shot to win. But I'll tell you this, we're going to flat out come out and play football, and hasn't his team responded well. The one thing you don't want to do if you're Texas is give a team that's on that, that pivotal position of emotion. You don't want to give them emotion. <laughs> Little slant in is caught by Shipley. Touchdown. Again, that crossing pattern. A lot of different angles. John Makovic's got to be concerned because right now they're not playing straight. They're playing straight man-to-man -man coverage, but they're not staying with him. And TCU is utilizing the height of Stephen Shipley, that 6'5", to go up for that football. 14 to nothing. Two angles for Shipley. Watch here. Look how high he goes up for that football. You see the coverage in the back. The crossing pattern let the corner just fall off him. Again, this is play as he sees it. Quick developing play. Doesn't take a lot of time to sit back in the pocket. Picks up Shipley and he dances into the end zone. And Grady Cavanis at 5'10 has no hope against 6'5 Stephen Shipley. Not on that pattern. Wow, has play been sharp. Think of the one that he threw away. 10 of 13, 82 yards. And the touchdown to Shipley. Now, how long has it been since TCU's the one here? As long as I have been alive. That's how long. 19 